Hey everybody, Shane here. Uh, so tonight it's January the 14th, 2022, and I had my final workout tonight uh, just before they closed down the gyms because we are going back into lockdown. Yep, back into lockdown because of the coronavirus. Um, it's taken us by storm here in my part of the world, in New Brunswick, Canada, the Omicron variant. Has made its way here. It's been here for a little while now, and they figure that they're going to shut the uh, all the gyms down, all the recreational sports, gym facilities, all that kind of stuff. So no sledge hockey, no wheelchair basketball, no weightlifting. Uh, but thankfully, we do have snow now, so I can get out cross country skiing. I'm going to weigh myself today, tonight. And in two weeks, hopefully the gyms open up in two weeks. So they're only they're only going to shut them down for two weeks. So the plan is to reopen January 30th. Okay, I don't know to what extent, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get back in the gym January the 30th. Okay. Uh, so, anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh myself now tonight, and then in two weeks before we go back to the gym, I'm going to weigh myself again. Now I'm not really you know, challenging myself to drop so much weight by a certain time or whatever. Because the over, overall grand scheme of things, or I'm tired guys, it's very late, it's like 1130. Um, I'm going to uh, do the Cutler Challenge again. I did the Cutler Challenge last last winter at the same time. Uh, we started, I believe, January the 17th, the Cutler Challenge, and it ran for six weeks. And then it went for an extended another extended six weeks so 12 weeks all together but when I weighed myself the first at the first the Cutler challenge oh, I've got a shirt on right there the Cut, Jay Cutler challenge um, I weighed in at would have been on the same time here too right so it would have weighed I believe it's 196 that I weighed weighed in at and um, at the end of the six weeks I finished off at 182. So it did very well. And I was like strict, strict, strict by the book. I was measuring my food. I did, did the workouts. I was disciplined, the most disciplined I've ever been. Um, so I'm going to start, I'm going to get back on that workout, that program, the eating program, the exercises, everything. Do the best I can anyways for this two weeks working out from home. Okay, so I'm going to weigh myself. Okay, so I have to try to stand on this scale. Can you see it? So that's going to be something to see, me trying to stand up on that scale. So if you're watching this first time, I'm a T12 incomplete paraplegic. So I can stand up, bear weight on my legs. To help with some spasticity, I can stand for short periods of time without uh, holding on to anything. Uh, kind of freestanding for a couple seconds before I start teetering over. Uh, anyways, you'll see. stand on this scale. Did it a few times before, so be quite interesting. I got some good spasms to hold me up, so hopefully I can stand up straight. Okay, so I'm gonna stand straight for like I think I'm 196 still. Oops. Okay, so I gotta stand up. Be straight here. It's got a little balance. Okay, come look at the scale. 199. Holy crap. Can you believe that? 199? I haven't been that heavy in like I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again. I haven't been that heavy in a while. I got a lot of work to do. 
Okay, let's try it again. Oh wait, I gotta take the my braces. Wait, I got my braces on. There's they're three pounds. So yeah, I'm 196 right on the bat. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna do it again though. Okay, get ready. I'm falling. There we go. Come get it. Yeah, 199. But I have my I have my braces on. So I take those off. Those are together. It's three pounds. So 196. Same as I was last year. Oh gosh. Same as I was last year. So that's pretty good. All right. Well, two weeks of no gym. I'm gonna be doing a lot of skiing. Gonna be a lot of home workouts. And uh, so, what are you gonna do? Let's hope you're not gonna sit on the couch and eat potato chips. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. All right, so the video that you're going to see here come and follow in this, the video that's going to follow this here, weigh-in uh, was my last workout uh, before the gym shut down for two weeks. Cross your fingers, it's only two weeks. So enjoy the video. I'm going to try to do a voiceover on the video to, to explain what I'm doing. Never did a voiceover before. We'll try it. All right, stick around, watch the video. Keep rolling. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'd just like to first say that uh, I'm not a personal trainer and I'm not recommending these exercises for everyone and do at your own risk. These are uh, exercises that I have been taught by personal trainers and by professionals and so if you choose to do them, do them at your own risk. Alright, thanks for watching. This is my last workout before lockdown. Gyms will reopen in two weeks, January the 30th, hopefully. So to begin this workout, all my workouts, I always go to the arm crank and uh, do five minutes forward motion, and then I'll do the five minute backward motion. This helps me loosen up my shoulders, gives me a little bit of a heart kicker there, gets my heart rate up a little bit, and uh, gets me overall warmed up for my main workout. So this is a staple. I always do this at the beginning of every workout, just like clockwork. I have one of these uh, hand cranks at home. I purchased one last winter when uh, I need to get some extra cardio. Uh, go watch the video I posted last year. I'll, I'll tag it in here in the description and put it on as a, a tag in the video. So you can click that. I go over in detail uh, the hand crank and some exercises I do on the, uh, the crank cycle. It's a matrix crank cycle. Okay, now from here, uh, from the crank cycle, I headed over to do my pull-ups. Now, typically I do my pull-ups near the end or the middle of my main workout uh, routine. This time today, I, you know, the gym was pretty busy over there, the, the squat racks, where typically, where I generally do my uh, pull-ups. So I went in here to the personal training area with permission, thank you, good life staff, to do my pull-ups at the first, uh, of, you know, the first of my workout. And I set a goal there a few months back, have some videos on it too, to get back to doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps of pull-ups, which I was accustomed to doing back in the day. And, uh, you know, I started, then I fell off the wagon, then I started, I fell off the wagon, and I got back at it hard for the last two weeks. And finally, this today, this is my first set, I nailed down 10. And then my third, second set, I nailed down eight reps. And then on my third, final set I did another 10 so I'll do three sets and goal is to have three sets of pull-ups between 10 and 12 reps each set awesome stretch uh, I love doing this exercise just for the stretch you can just hang there and it stretches all your back your lats your shoulders your biceps your forearms full body stretch and just to get up and stand up and bear weight on my legs too to get my legs my quads my hamstrings a nice little stretch it's a fantastic workout. And not to mention the pump that you get. So this here is my second, uh, this is my second set. 
And I got eight reps out of this. Now my my wait time, my rest time in between is usually about a minute, minute and a half. I think might have been a little bit longer this time around because I was fidgeting with my camera, trying to get a better angle, all that kind of stuff. So it's probably around two minute mark uh, rest. And same with between my second and third set as well. I was probably around a minute and a half uh, rest time. And my third set, I was able to pull off 10 reps. It was tough. Okay, now from the pullovers, oh sorry, from the pull-ups, still in the personal training section because the other, uh, the common area was quite busy. I moved, this is the meat of my workout tonight. I um, often do this exercise once, twice a week. It's supersets. I'll start off with the bench, 45s on each side. Now I'm not going for heavy weight here. I'm going for, uh, look for volume. So I keep my weight at a medium. For me, uh, and I'll go for 10 to 12 reps here, and then I'll superset that with dumbbell pullovers with an 80 pound dumbbell. Uh, like I said, 10 to 12 reps, and then from there, I'll swing over and do my dips, which you'll see here, and I'll do 25 dips. Now, I'll do this back, I'll do that cycle back to back, okay, for one set, and then I'll take it, let's say, about another minute and a half rest or so. Uh, after I finish the back-to-back -back and do another back-to-back -back sets. Then I'll take another minute and a half break. And then I'll go back and do another back-to-back. -back. So I'll do three rounds, and in each round there's two, I guess, two cycles, I guess, of the supersets. So it is one heck of a workout. I recommend trying it. It gets the heart pumping, and you get such a pump on doing this workout. I love it. I've been doing this for years. Uh, I had a personal trainer. Back in the day, we did this, getting ready when I was in hardcore training for a sport. Um, loved it. Uh, super beneficial for me. These pullovers, they give you a fantastic stretch, full upper body stretch. I even feel it stretch down in my quads um, when I pull that back. Um, all throughout my lats, my abs, my, my lower back, my upper back, um, all through my, my triceps, a good stretch. Um, love these pullovers. Love them. And sometimes, too, with this exercise, I only did three uh, different exercises here for the superset. Um, at times, I'll add two more. Sometimes, I'll drop to the floor and do push ups as well. And then I'll also bring over some dumbbells, usually 25s or 30s, depending. Um, and I'll do some dumbbell curls for biceps. So what I'll do is I'll snap in these, uh, snap off these triceps. Once I do the triceps, I'll throw my butt back up on the bench, grab the dumbbells, I'll pump out some uh, bicep curls, 25, and then uh, I hit the floor and do 25 push-ups, and then have my rest. But this tonight I just did the three, three exercises in the superset. Okay, after uh, the meat of my workout. I'll end it off with some cardio. I'll do anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes cardio. Uh, here's the rope pull down machine. Um, I do 10 minutes of the rope pull down. And you see that lever I just hit there? That is to adjust the tension. It goes all the way from level one, which is the easiest, up to level seven, I believe, which is the hardest. Um, I think right there I'm on level five. Yeah, I believe I'm a little five. So this is also a good stretch for your shoulders, your back, your lats. Okay, so the second machine that I'm doing for cardio tonight is the uh, rowing erg. I absolutely love this machine. I thought about buying one for my home gym, but I just don't have the room for it. I love it. Um, good. It's awesome for cardio. It's awesome for strength. Um, working at your back. See there where I touched the little dial to increase the tension. That again goes all the way down to one, which is the easiest, up to 
10, the hardest right here, I believe I've said it like eight and a half or nine. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll do 2,000 meters, which typically takes me about 12 minutes. When I do this at the end of my workout, when I do this at the beginning of my workout, I can snap off 2,000 meters in 10 minutes. The average usually around 10 minutes and 20 seconds to do that. But now that my muscles are fatigued from my superset workouts, you know, I'm around 12 minutes or so for the uh, 2,000 meters. And you can see I also use my legs here as well. So it also works out my legs. I'm pushing just a little bit with my legs. So I, that helps with strengthening my legs a little bit, get them moving. Now I don't always use the three machines to end off my cardio. Sometimes I'll just hit the rower, do all rowing. Other times I'll just hit the arm crank, the crank cycle, and just do you know 30, 40 minutes of that. I don't do a whole lot with the rope machine though, the pull down. Uh, I don't find I get quite the cardio workout I do with the rowing machine and the crank cycle. Mostly use the rope machine for strength. Okay, so here's my final um, cardio workout. And uh, so I did 10 minutes on the rope, pull down, 10 to 12 minutes on the herb, and here I'll be doing 20 minutes on the arm crank. For a total of 40 minutes cardio to end off my, uh, my workout. So I'll do 10 minutes in uh, one direction, in this direction right here, I'm going in reverse. When that 10 minutes is up, I'll flip it around, and I will do the uh, frontward motion, rotation. For 10 minutes and then a little cool down you know you can do two or three minute cool down after that and again throughout these 10 minutes i'll do single arm i'll do tandem um, rotations i'll go left right you know i'll increase the uh, the tension here and there uh, just to get a good workout keep my heart rate up and then when i get near to the end of my uh, cardio i'll start reducing the tension on it and i'll slow down a little bit and just to uh uh, you know, cool down a bit. So, and then always do your stretching after, before, and after. And uh, I'll do a video on stretch here hopefully uh, soon. So there you go, folks. That's my last workout before lockdown. We're in lockdown now for two weeks. Um, this is a rockin' Friday night. A good life. Um, so take care, everybody. And I'll be doing some videos at home as well of my lockdown workouts. So. Uh, stay tuned. If you haven't already and you watch this far, please, hey, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Like the video, put a comment in there, and let me know what you're doing for your lockdown. Um, if you're locked down anywhere in the world, let me know what you're doing to keep fit. All right? Take care, stay safe, and keep rolling.